All right, let's go. If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my Prada bae? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bae. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, bae. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, bae. Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, bae. You know I like when you right at the top, bae. She wants your name, name, and D-O-Yo. -Yo. I'm only doing cash, I don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the four four. Inside Coco. If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart. And I keep a pedicure, cause I don't do facade. You can see my diamonds even when I'm in the dark. And since you got it, it make you go and do anything you want. Shotty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like go, y'all. G Wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your boy, Henry King. What's good guys? Back with another bang. See me, see me, see me. Boy, and you king here. And we're gonna be doing a story time today. Let me let me get closer. You see me. Because I don't know if like I'm a fan on guys, so I hope this audio is running good. You see me, but uh yeah, so we're gonna be doing a story time today about you know uh my experience becoming a model you see me you know your boy is a model you see me i would classify myself as a high fashion model you see me and like probably commercial type of model you dig uh my instagram is at henry king obviously because i'm henry king uh yeah the last video or probably the second to last video i did was an experience like a vlog type thing behind the scenes of a show uh, but yeah like I just going I was suggested by a friend and it's possible that I'm gonna include the talk in the video like probably after this or at some point but yeah subscribe if you're new guys like right away just pause right now do that for me show me the support show me the love guys because it's appreciated, you see me? It really, really, really is appreciated, you see me? But yeah, I've been supposed to do this, so I'm just gonna get straight into it, you see me? My story of the story time of how I became a model. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so how did Henry become a model? Now, I'm gonna reveal some big news at the end of this some very very big news for myself uh, and uh, like it's probably a life-changing thing too because and it's been a long time come a long time coming you see me so yeah but stay tuned for that you see me so watch the entire video guys um bam 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 how I became a model so I've always been, aside from modeling, I've always been a business. Money, 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 chop, chop. Get the bench chop, get the chop, chop. Man, so to say, to say, you see me, always hustling too. You see me, you know, towards the dreams, towards the goals. You see me, because we have to be doing that, or else. So yeah, one day I had a meeting, a business meeting at Pegasus. Won't disclose it who, won't disclose it what. But I had a meeting. I ain't know your boy, I forget fresh, I forget fly, you see me, so dog diggity style. <laughs> so I dressed up in a full suit because it was that type of meeting, you see me, a full suit. Jenks, everything, you see me, full suit. So dressed up, ready, going on. Reach Pegasus Hotel, and for those who aren't in Jamaica, Pegasus Hotel is like one of the top, arguably in one of the top 10 hotels in Jamaica, overall, throughout the whole country. Uh, so yeah, got reach Pegasus Hotel, walk through the lobby, go to my meeting, it was a great meeting, I ended up getting to do what I was supposed to do, uh, and I was on my way out. Now, on my way out, I hear this, you know, this voice from afar young man young man hey so and, and like 
I don't, guys, as much as I'm in front of a camera talking to a camera, I know, and as much as I can communicate with people, like, I'm an introvert, to be honest, you see me? So, yeah, public, like, talking, it's weird, it's weird, guys. But yeah, you have to do what you have to do, you see me? Because I'm not about closing off opportunities, you see me? Regardless, you see me? So, like, Hearing that turn around and I was like, yo, hi. And then he was like, one second, you see me? And then he's like, oh, you know, I'm so and so and so. I run this agency, so and so and so. And you have a look and ray, 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 blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. And he gave me like this whole un like explanation, you see me? And then I was like, the thing is, I've always been interested because I always like fashion, you see me? But I've never really... And people have always told me, yo, you know, you're tall, you know, you have a certain look, you should model your hair. And this is the thing, my mom, my parents weren't really, that wasn't really in their mind, you see me? So, for, they, were, they wanted me to be doing other things. And I've always been an artist, but I've never really focused on that side of art. I've always focused on, you know, the, my, what I do outside of it, like film and that type of thing, you see me? So... I, I never really considered it seriously so I was there listening to what he was saying it sounded good and I thought about it honestly thought about it you see me but then like and honestly guys high key I probably messed up a good situation like a good opportunity but I like that you see me sometimes you win some you lose some and sometimes you know that's just how life goes so he took my my contact information i took his email i think i think i i'm not i not i don't remember if i got a number but i know i got an email and then i went home i told my mom about it she was not about it you know because she's very old school you see me she's very old school so she she wasn't about it at all and i was really interested in it but i just it wasn't on the top of my head at that point in time so i left it alone a year passed skip we skip in a year and uh, like i'd say boom i got the opportunity to work somewhere and it turns out i was working on one of their shows and the same batch of models that was like going up and these are some of my fr some of them are my friends now uh like the same batch of models then was the batch i was supposed to be in and they like they're good you see me they're good now you see me them but like in jamaica we were saying them boss were like dj kite dog you see me so that going and then like and this is yo it's just the ups and downs of the road to you know a goal so to say and then like uh i'd say a couple hours pass the show was finishing and then my guy sees me he's like wait aren't you the young man i saw at so and so and then he started to laugh and say oh we see i told you this and i told you that and you didn't capitalize on the on the opportunity boom 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 and i was like yeah i understand but this is what happened blah 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 and he said okay well i understand that but you know like you didn't capitalize on opportunities so he was basically hinting to me that i lost on the opportunity and there's no way for me to get the opportunity and this was a couple months you see me almost like a year so like but anyways he was like um he said that then i was like okay anyways that friend we were talking after that and he was like yo um yo dog why are you why you never really? and then like i explained it again and he's like i oh, understand hear what i'm gonna try to you know see if boom 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 and he basically set a link after that for me but during the space of time that he was setting that link and I was waiting, I started to think about modeling more and more and the possibilities. Sorry, something in my eye, bro. 
the possibilities of you know modeling and then I started to mix that yo I really like fashion for real you see me and then like I started to ask around about and investigate about the modeling scene in Jamaica at that point in time like seriously you know you, know? you see me and then like I found out that there are only really two major agencies in Jamaica and then like one of them kind of and then the other one is coming up and doing well but the one that's kind of their name in the street isn't really solid not calling any names but yeah through a friend who is a designer uh, we had some work to do because I was trying to I think I was trying to get images done like work on you know actually starting to do something and then like we were supposed to have a meeting for the longest while and I was remember I was still I'm still waiting on the link from a friend who is in the agency to happen you see me but anyways that f that other friend who's a designer says yo you know I'm gonna be here because it's been a while since we're supposed to have the meeting and it was in this I put it off put it off put it off and then like he was like yo you know say bad man you know say I have a um I have a thing to go to at Spanish Court Hotel and uh I'm gonna be there for a while when I get there so maybe if you're in the area you could I could see you and we can talk like that you see me so he was like hmm I was like hmm all right cool 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 I wasn't going to be in the area but I, I want I really want to get shit done so like I dress up cool because I asked him like what kind of thing is it he explained so I dress up nice like a suit and thing because it was like a it was like a pre-show event some some pre-show event thing and it was really like semi-formal formal kind of vibes you see me but I never know who was going to be there so I I pull up to this place I I'm there I get in I give my name I get in um I start to see these models who are, you know, popular and up in the industry and thing right now, you see me, and international too, you know. I start to see these faces and I'm like, Ross, where am I land? <laughs> you see me, I'm like, rotted, where am I? But anyways, fast forward, I see faces go through, I finally see him, uh, and before we can actually get to talk, he was he had to speak to other people so while he was doing that he was introducing me to these people so basically turned into like a networking thing and then like he introduced me to the heads for the agency that i was talking about that's kind of you see me and i never know but he let me know in the moment and then like one of the one of them immediately she was like wow yo you young man what's your name and I tell her my name and then she's like, how tall are you? And I tell her my height and then she's like, how old are you? I tell her that and then she's like, oh, don't worry. I'm not a creep. I'm not weird. The reason why I'm asking you this is because we're having a fitting uh, at so-and-so and so at so-and-so. And, you know, you have a really strong look and I think you could walk and thing and re 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 and be guys, shit don't work like that. In the modeling industry like not on a regular basis not on a usual thing you see me so like for sport like you have to be really lucky and in the right situation at the right time for something like that to happen you see me so like in that moment i was like okay yeah I, I'm, I'm good i i can do it you see me we can do it you see it. and then like regardless of because i wasn't i was just doing it for the experience i wasn't expecting anything big thing out of it or anything like that so when she said that she gave me the time blah 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 and then like we we went through the, the night I got to talk to him line up that thing and then like you know fast forward to when we're doing that show now so I did I, I go to that show do that show I like the experience of the show but there are still some things that I saw and you know felt that never really 
I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't my space, you see me? So I knew right away that, okay, well, if I'm going to do modeling, like that agency, I'm probably not going to go to that agency. No, I don't have nothing against them or anything. Just that are my decision in regards to, you know, moving forward, you see me? So with that in mind, I was like more you now interested in, you know, the agency that I was previously with. So, with that being said, I reached out back to my friend, and then I was like, "Yo, bro, you know, it's been a while since you say you're going to help me this and that." And he's like, "Oh yeah, bro, boom, boom, boom. You know, them going to have a meeting at X, Y, and Z at X, Y, and Z." I'm like, "Yeah, all right, mad." So I showed up to that meeting. The guy accepted me, which is the the CEO for the agency, and after the meeting. And then I was consistent, consistent, consistent until I became like a solid, you know, model with the agency. Never sign yet or anything. And this is the thing, like, the modeling industry is filled with misconceptions and also like, faca like facades and also like In a nutshell, just try to get knowledge and understand the business side of modeling, isn't it? Because there's more to it. It's not just glitz and glamour and all of that, isn't it? So, I did a tons of trainings, tons of meetings, all of that, isn't it? I did probably... How many shows did I do with them? Probably one, two, three, four, five... Oh, five show. No, well, four show and like probably three out of those show consists of different events, like probably four to five events each. Three out of the four shows. Yeah. I had a lot of experiences with them. You see me? But, you know, things. Life is not linear, it's not straight. You see me? You have ups and downs and things, and then you have to be vigilant about certain things. You see me? So that's my story of how I became a model, you see me? And then like, uh, I remember one time my mom, cause at first my mom wasn't very supportive of, you know, modeling. Like I said, she's very old school. My dad, yeah, him, 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 him did just say, ah, tch, it's what it is, man, do your thing, you see me? But my mom, she wasn't very supportive at first, but then like, I remember, my second show, I think, or was it my first? I don't remember exactly, but one of them, and I got like VIP ticket and and like I set up them. You see me, my mom, my my younger brother, and like a friend, a couple friends. I set them up good. You see me, so them could have come watch, cause it was like my first show that I was in. That I was confident. I knew everything and. Like, every, and it was, yo, it was the first official, official, but not the first official, but the first, like, proper, like, setup type of, in regards to me, personally, type of show, you see me? So, I wanted them to experience it too, and I remember when I was on the runway, <laughs> I heard my mom screaming at the top of her voice, like, Yes, my son! Yes, my son! Yes, I know. Yo, bad man me the whole. At the first member, <laughs> a whole a laugh. Yo, brother, the facts I'm whole a laugh there. Yo, I'm whole a laugh there like my life depend upon it, bro. <laughs> you see me and then like when I finally go to the top, do me and to come back down, and I was about to exit the stage, I bust out in a laughter, brother. But it was a good feeling though. Like, yeah, and then from that day, from that show, she, she, she know, she's supportive of it. Yeah, she's supportive of it. You see me? But yeah, that's the story of how Henry King became a model. You see me? Uh, but yeah, getting right into, because this, this video is getting long as, yeah, this video is getting long. Thanks for anyone who's still here watching. You see me? Bless up. I hate you. You see me. You see me. But yeah. The big news. So, skipping forward in my story, 
I left that agency because of certain situations that let me down. Is it me? Certain unnecessary situations that let me down. Uh, huh. For I, I think I was without an agency, just like doing my thing for probably half a year or a little bit more than that. And then, boom! Mood model agents, mood model agent, mood model agencies, agency. Sorry, you see me. Mood models in New York link me up. You see me through a friend. Big up yourself, Harrison. Big up yourself, my G. Brother, you are real G. But, anyways, man, set the link. Uh, and then my agent called me. Um, we had a talk, and they sent me like you know what they needed to send me, and then you know it's it was history. So now your boy is signed to a agency internationally in New York. You see me? And mind you, this is the first time I'm dealing with like an international agency because I've casted for many probably. 13 or 14 agencies from around the world, you see me, Milan, New York, Italy, Paris, London, you see me, lots of them. And possibilities were there, but you see me, that's just another story. You see me, that's just another story. But, that's the news, guys. You see me, so yeah. Yo, here, thank you for watching the video. You are my G. Welcome to the kingdom, Izimi. I appreciate you guys a ton. Smash the like button, share it with your friends. Tell them something about the video, dog, and show them the video. I really, really appreciate it. Yo, check out my Instagram at Henry King. Follow me, Izimi. I'm gonna start a TikTok soon and do some lit videos. Is it? I probably post something on TikTok from this. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. You did. Henry King, my name is Henry King and this is my channel. You see me? I'm Henry King. My name is Henry King. Oh, them I got big, so no banging. Subscribe if you're new. You see me? We out here, we're going to do video back to 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 back. Henry King. Henry King.